Pittsburgh Sports Now, Zach Weiss here with Duquesne football coach Jerry Schmidt. Jerry, of course, obviously some really encouraging results lately, taking things day by day. Just what have you liked with the bounce-back ability of your team thus far? Well, they just believe in no matter what happens to the, the game before, after 24 hours, you're going to put it behind them and they're going to move forward and get better. And that has paid off for the Dukes the last couple of years. For you, just what what's your process like for film? When you watch the film, you get that feedback, and either you tailor those practices, adjusting towards what you need to counterpoint and counterpunch, or just be a better version of yourselves. Well, we teach from the good things we do, and we teach from the mistakes, and we take and apply that on the in the in the chalk talk with them, and then we apply it on the field, and we t try to repeat it, and then you combine that with the game plan for the coming week so it's a challenge for our coaches they do a really good job of teaching to the kids and the kids are good learners and they want to learn and it's, that makes it a whole lot easier. How much do you enjoy the film aspect of it getting that chance to interact with your staff get a chance to just further know your guys based on that feedback that you see in front of you? I must enjoy it uh, a lot because I've been doing a lot of it for a lot of years uh, and I'm enjoy it just as much as the first year that I did it on VHS. What was that like just going through it on VHS just as a curiosity question? Oh, the VHS is pretty good. There, you don't have all the technical difficulties with internet. You <laughs> pop that thing in and you can roll on it and the, the, the kids will laugh if you ask them. They, they'll tell you, I always say if we had a VHS we wouldn't have to wait for all this sometimes technical difficulties. <laughs> For you, obviously, it's unfortunate that you had Taj that had the that has had the injury, but it's given Jamario the chance to really showcase his ability more. Just with each game, with each snap, how do you see the confidence and the fire within him intensify? Well, he's getting a lot better with a lot more reps and taking advantage of that. And, uh, the other guy, Sean Solomon, is getting some reps, and he's doing a really good job for a young guy. Uh, really happy with those two, the way they work together. Obviously, Joey had a breakout game of sorts. That potential was seen by the coaches before last season started. What's it been like getting him to see his feet under, believe in his ability, believe in the team's success and progressing forward? Yeah, it's great to get him back acclimated and full go. He was a little bit injured there in camp and he's been working through that and getting him full go into our system. Uh, just makes critical catches at critical times and knows our system as well as anybody, so happy to have him. You've had teams in the past, even to a degree last year, where there's been a, maybe one guy that stands out or two guys that stand out on one side or on both sides of the ball. For it to truly be where Jacob or myself or somebody's asking about five, six, seven, eight guys, just how much does that embody the team that the Dukes have this season? Well, that's what I think. It's a full team effort. I told him after Saturday's game that that was a full team effort, not only offense, defense, special teams, but... There's a lot of guys preparing us on the scout teams, doing a really good job. Our, our athletic trainers, our coaches, and it was a full team effort in front of the homecoming crowd. And, uh, really enjoyed myself watching that on the sideline and uh, seeing so many successful guys continue to elevate their game. What have you been most pleased by from the start of camp until this point now? I think the development of um, our, our team aspect. We were a close team in the spring, but we had some players, and those guys are fitting in uh, the way we play Dukes football and fitting in with the team. And it's been interesting for me to watch that development of our guys and the way they just focus on football and not worrying about external things. When they get here in the classroom, when we, when we do the film and we get on the field, they're just focused on football, and it's really good to see. You've had the mantra, we've said, if you've said it once, you've said it a million times, of Dukes adjust. Just how do you feel the team as a whole has embodied and handled that statement? Yeah, it's really huge because we, you know, we had some travel games there three weeks in a row, and there's always things that go on in different stadiums, different locker rooms, and figuring things out. And these guys don't bat an eye. They just, we just talked about, you know, we're going up to St. Francis, and that's a different kind of venue. Um, and but we don't care. It's what happens between the lines when the ball's kicked off. And I say that to them, and I know that they're hearing it, and uh, that's what's impressive about this team. 
how nice is it that you have the opportunity to look at St. Francis, a, a side that you know is always going to bring it and be a competitive team and a really good chance for you to see where you stand within this conference, within yourselves? Well, it's definitely a measuring uh, point this week because they're a really good football team. I think they lead the conference in uh, rush defense and uh, they're really, they can be very dynamic on offense. You've got some playmakers, um, really good running game. It's St. Francis Duquesne. It's always a tough football game, and it's NEC. It's always a tough football game. So, I'm absolutely looking forward to a battle. What have these first couple of conference games taught you about this team, or is it more about that it's strengthened your belief in what you've already known? I had a pretty good idea that these guys were uh, a tight group, and they uh, work hard together, and they really care about getting better and they really focus on that um, and so that's been confirmed here the last couple of weeks.